Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to another installment of Media Mesh, where I give my unapologetic male opinion about everything from music, movies, the news, reality TV, all in a five minute wrap up. So let's get started. So, of course, you know, this is part two of Ready to Love. And now we're going to look at these two right here. Now, this woman right here is very interesting. OK, now there are certain women who are built for just uh, a very particular type of man. And with her personality, um, this would probably explain why she's been single for some time. Now, that's not a diss. I'm just saying, ladies, you can watch and learn a lot from others. OK, and this is exactly how not to act in a situation. OK, as we're about to see in a few seconds, and I know you've seen it, but let's just kind of recap and just see where she went wrong. OK, and one of the first things is that, number one, she's not interested. She's made it clear that she's not interested. So I'm wondering, do the people have to go on these dates, you know, under duress? Like, but if there's no connection, why in the world are you still going out on a date with these people? And then even if you do, it would be nice if you remain classy and tactful and be able to engage in a nice meal, even though, you know, it's not going nowhere. Some type of etiquette is necessary. And to be frank, I am really upset that she was not kicked off. She has no other connection on the show outside of this other guy who we'll get to in a little bit, who she got wrapped around her finger. And I don't understand why, but she obviously can detect the weak man and no disrespect to him. He seems like a very nice guy. But when it comes to the ladies, it looks like he can be manipulated very easily, such is the case. Now, let's get into this real quick. Let's do it. Six pack, all that. Uh, I'm, I'm not the only one at the table that gets to Let's fast forward. Yeah, hello. Irish, the right woman, absolutely. How many? Oh, let's start with one. Okay. So, my son quest is my everything. If we were to enter into something, where do you see your role in, in his life? Definitely not trying to be his father, right. and definitely not trying to be someone that's looked at as, oh, that's his Nye, or that's Mr. Bilal, or whatever he would call me. He would call you Mr. Nye. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, wow, total disrespect. He just said that he would not want to be basically disregarded as someone of value, and that's exactly how she would treat him. And that's a whole, that is exactly how she would do. All right? This is just crazy. Why, why even do this? Just so disrespectful. And then uh, let's go on a little bit more because she's going to say something else that's even more outlandish than this. Uh. What about finances? What does that look like? Mm -hmm. Like, what do you want to hear? Like, do I pay for everything in your shop? Is that no, what you're no, 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 like, I, no, no. I, mean, I see the curve, the edge of the mouth doing this little dance thing. It's definitely a red flag when a woman brings up finances kind of abruptly. Absolutely. So what in the world? or I should better say, what does it matter, his income, if you're not interested? Or are you now going to be interested in this brother if he makes six figures or more? Like that makes no sense. You never ask a man his finances. All you have to do for the ladies that's listening, what type of job do you have? What career path have you been on? And then you can kind of surmise, OK, well, the average uh, salary for this type of position is such and such. Or you can sit back and simply observe. You can tell by the dates that you go on, the places, the food, the different uh, attractions, the different outings that you will go on will let you know a lot about their finances if they're not front. Because, of course, you know, we got a lot of brothers out here front. Nevertheless, this is an absolute disaster. She should have been off the show. This is a shame. Now, Courtney's a little bit forward. Yes, indeed. However, she can be corrected with the right coaching from the right brother. This here, I don't know if there's any saving. Anyway, I'll catch you on the flip side for part three. We're going to get our way down to the bottom of this whole episode. There's a lot to unpack. Like, share, and subscribe. Let's keep doing it together. God bless. Love somebody.